Tom Seifert of Pharmacists for Diamond Drugs at 841 Hospital Road. Today I'm here to talk to you about poison ivy. Uh, the symptoms you usually see are itching, redness, swelling. Uh, what it is is the body's response to urethral, which is, is an oil found in the leaves, the stems, and the root of the poison ivy plant. Uh, this oil binds to the dermis of the skin, and the severity of the reaction uh, depends on the extent of the urethral oil that's absorbed into the skin area. Uh, the soles of the feet and the palms of the hand have a, are less sensitive because the skin is thicker in that area. The oil can only bind to humans. It can be on pets, tools, clothing, uh, shoes, bedding. Before the oil is absorbed on the skin, it can be removed by soap and water. You must wash with soap and water as soon as possible after exposure. 50% of the oil is absorbed in about 10 minutes, so the faster you wash with soap and water, uh, the, more, the better that would work. The oil can remain active for up to one to five years. It's most concentrated in the areas of, of the roots. It's also more potent in the spring and early summer whenever the sap is rising in the plant. That's, uh, do not burn the plant itself. Do not burn up any bark or any firewood that's come exposed to the poison ivy plant because it gets into the air and it's absorbed into the lungs, which can cause a severe problem. Okay, myths about poison ivy. Scratching the blister can spread the rash. Uh, this is not true, that the fluid that's in the blister cannot spread the rash. Uh, fingernails too may have uh, some bacteria in them that could cause an infection, so it's best not to, to scratch the rash. If the rash itself is contagious, this, this is false. You cannot pass uh, poison ivy from one person to another up with the rash. Third myth is after the first time you cannot get poison ivy again. This is also false. Sensitivity increases with each contact and a reaction may last longer each time. Four, once you're allergic to poison ivy, you're always allergic. Uh, this is not true either. Sensitivity changes over time, even from season to season. People are sensitive to it, even as children may not be sensitive to it as adults. The fifth myth is dead poison ivy plants are no longer toxic. That is also false. Reshaw can remain active up to five years. So if you're outside and you're working in your garden, you know, w wash your, your, your clothes immediately, uh, and, and even your boots, uh, gloves, anything at all like that, it may be exposed because that oil can remain active and you, you put your boots on six months later and you can again get poison ivy and wonder where, where it came from. Treatment, over the counter, uh, you can use calamine lotion, you can use hydrocortisone creams or lotions or oatmeal baths, or you can get a product called Xanfel uh, for mild to moderate cases. This product removes urethral uh, from the skin after the outbreak. It relieves itching within minutes of use. By prescription, you can get a prescription for oral steroids or topical steroids. Those also work, but if possible, try the over-the-counters first.